This is one of those crazy recipes that you throw everything together and you think it is impossible how good it turns out. I'm Tess, and today I'm making an impossible coconut pie. It's almost like magic. I'm using a food blender to mix everything together, but you can use a food processor or even do it the old-fashioned way and mix by hand. You will be amazed at how easy this impossible coconut pie is to make. I have four large room temp eggs, adding in some sugar, flour, salt, baking powder, room temp milk, melted butter, and some pure vanilla extract. And you can use coconut or a combo of vanilla and coconut extract for some added flavor, giving everything a good mix for about 30 seconds or until all combined. Now I'm adding in my flaked coconut, and you can use sweetened or unsweetened. I'm just pulsing this for a couple times to mix in the coconut. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I coated my deep dish pie plate with some coconut oil, and you can use some butter or spray oil. Pouring my batter into the dish and baking for 55 to 60 minutes or until the center is set and the top is a nice golden brown. During the baking process, the flour drops to the bottom and forms somewhat of a crust. The middle is a creamy custard, and the coconut rises to the top and forms a nice golden crust. The bottom crust is not your typical dough pie crust, but rather forms a firm layer to hold the pie together. Let the pie cool for about a half an hour before eating. You can serve this warm, at room temp, or cold. I'm serving with some fruit and sprinkled with some toasted coconut. Some other suggestions would be some whipped cream, ice cream, or drizzle with a little chocolate or honey. With the drizzle of chocolate, it really tastes like a Mounds bar. The sweet and crispy coconut is so good, and the creamy custard just melts in your mouth. A wonderful and delicious pie that is so easy to make and everyone will love. I hope you give this impossible coconut pie a try and enjoy. If you like this recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steamit, Facebook, and at my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!